Welcome back to our tutorial series on um, planning. And so our previous chapters, we're talking about forecast and purchase orders, so demand forecast and blanket purchase orders in the agreement framework, how we take an agreement with a client. Now we're talking about the item itself and how we plan and what are the par parameters for that. All right, let's scroll down. And what we're talking about here on the item card, this is our example widget we created in previous tutorial you can see our picture of the ducati and i'm saying here that we're going to replenish this by purchasing now if we say purchase it means these settings will apply if we change this to produce these settings will apply if we say assemble the following will apply so right now we purchase and for the purpose of this example we're going to use uh purchasing and we're going to move down to planning and this is where it gets interesting. So I'm interested in a fixed reorder quantity as an example. You can set the reorder point, you can set the reorder quantity. You've got the ability to use your order modifiers and you can set your safety stock. Now, there's a few other things that you can do. For example, we could be talking maximum quantity. You can do order, so on order, trigger demand. You can do lot for lot, okay? And um, yeah, you've, you've got the ability to turn around and do further things like, for example, order tracking and um, setting a critical for um, uh, the, the critical side of this for uh, if it's manufacturing or supply, et cetera. So what we want to do is we're going to move up from this and let's talk about one piece here, which is stop stock keeping. What if I was to have multiple stock keeping units of this item for example at one item one location being our main location as we scroll down it copies all of our replenish settings from the item card and at this location we purchase okay that demand that we're setting here that the configuration uh that that says well a five and two is what we want to trigger off at our next location, we may want to have a different configuration. So let's say east. And for this location, we're going to purchase and we might want to do two and one. Okay. And so this overrides the planning and allows you to turn around and zone in per location. You may want to also transfer this, which is a new feature that appears. And you can choose your location to main. So now what we've said here is our main location buys the product. We don't, but we're required to keep this stock and we'll raise a transfer order from main to the east location. So the ability for you to plan, it's really important to just understand what each of these features do and start using that. It will implicate the planning worksheets, which we've talked about beforehand and it sets how this behavior will perform. Thank you.